So why is movement specifically so important to mental well-being? I almost don't even know where to begin with this. I mean, you can start with the data. If you just look at the data around the world, every country you can imagine that it has been studied in, every age group, every health status, every gender, every socioeconomic status, people who are more physically active are happier, they have better relationships, they have more meaning in life, they're less at risk for things like depression and loneliness. If you go further than just sort of that kind of epidemiology and you look at how movement affects the brain and how movement affects mental health, it's as if humans were born to move and when we are physically active, it puts us in a state of not just body but of mind to be the best version of ourselves. You know, everything from the neurochemistry of the runner's high, which makes us um, enjoy cooperating with other people more and gives us hope and optimism, all the way to how if you are regularly active, you have a different brain and nervous system than people who don't exercise. You have a, a brain and a nervous system that are more sensitive to pleasure and more resilient to stress. Most people, when they engage in cardiovascular activity for about 20 minutes or so, moderate intensity, one of the changes that you see in the brain is an increase in endocannabinoids, which is the neurotransmitter that cannabis mimics. Um, and if you work really hard, you can get also an endorphin rush. But the, the core high actually isn't endorphins, it's endocannabinoids. So some people experience that as a kind of euphoria, but a lot of people experience it as just feeling better. Like the worries are a little bit less, everything feels possible, things feel like there's reason to hope. Endocannabinoids also increase the pleasure we get from social contact. So sometimes you don't even notice what the runner's high is or the exercise high is until afterwards and then you reunite with your partner or you meet up with your team um, and suddenly it just, it's an easier interaction. Somehow their stories are funnier and it feels better to hug someone. So the runner's high, it's not always that rush that people think it is where like in the moment, peak intensity. The actual runner's high is more of this, this neurochemical change that seems to make us more optimistic and also more open to connecting with others. Um, and my guess is you might get a version of that, but also the movement, the exercise that you're doing is probably going to affect your brain and your mental health in slightly different ways. So we know, for example, when you are lifting um, heavy weights, you're doing things that really engage the core, the muscles of your core actually talk to your brain in a way that tends to rather produce this kind of happiness or euphoria that actually calms down anxiety. It's a really interesting neurofeedback loop that when you brace your core and when you're engaging in that kind of strong muscular contraction that's stabilizing, your brain reads those signals from your body as essentially, I got this, I'm in control. So that's not really like a runner's high, but it can be a really empowering state of mind. And so your, your literal moment to moment sense of self is always being informed by what your body is doing. And we know that when people are active, often they experience themselves as a different version of themselves. So with something like weightlifting, you are literally getting feedback, sensory feedback from your body that says, I am strong, I, I move heavy things, I do hard things, I'm powerful. And your brain does not receive that information from like, so you're lifting something heavy, so your, your brain is gonna get feedback from muscle contraction and tension of the tendons on your joints. Your brain does not get that information and think, my bicep is strong, or you know, my, my lats are strong. The brain thinks, I am strong, I have strength, I am exerting myself in this way. And every movement form has its own like signature proprioceptive feedback. So my favorite form of exercise, my favorite forms are, are um, dance and yoga. And when you think about the gestures in dance or the, the gestures in yoga, the full body gestures, um, my favorite proprioceptive feedback are actually these physical signatures of joy, like your arms stretched out and your gaze lifted and your heart open. And I can start a movement experience feeling depressed and anxious and demoralized, but after you know 10 minutes of throwing my arms in the air and looking up and smiling, um, my brain is like, you are a joy. And so often people get attracted to the forms of movement that give them a sense of self that is really personally meaningful or empowering. And you know, with running, sometimes it's, I'm free, I'm fast. I'm going somewhere.